how to make Google Forms questions a little more visually appealing is actually an issue that I come up with from time to time. Teachers are wondering, can I do a little more formatting in Google Forms with my questions? Well, yes and no, you can, but you have to use some other tools in order to be able to accomplish that specific task. So for example, this is what I typically see teachers doing. They'll ask a question like so. They'll get the question ready to go. They want the students to respond in a paragraph format, or I guess it could be multiple choice. Either way, what you can do is maybe they have a passage involved in some way, shape, or form. I'm just going to grab this passage here because I grabbed it ahead of time, just as an example passage. And they copy it. And they take the question like so, and they paste it directly in. Or I shouldn't say the question, but they take a passage and paste it in like so. And then what ends up happening is they'll say, read, read the passage and answer the question at the end. So I go to the end, then I would say, what is a fad? And then when the students look at this and they see this and you hit the eyeball to see the preview, this is what it looks like. Well, that makes it very hard for students to determine what they're actually supposed to do here. So we're going to talk briefly about how to make things a little more visually appealing. So also keep in mind, I'm on a Chromebook. So there's some things here that I'm going to do specifically that are exclusive to Chromebook. So let me back up. I'm back into my Google form here. I'm going to hit the plus to get a new question. And here's what I'm going to recommend. Instead of copying and pasting text, you could just use the image option directly in the question. So instead of highlighting and copying and pasting all this text, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot. So I'm going to hit control shift window button, highlight the text like so, and it takes a screenshot and it puts it in my downloads folder on my Chromebook. If you're on a PC or a Mac, an option would be to download like Nimbus screenshot and screencast. I could use the screenshot tool on it. When I hit this button, I can use the selected area option and it does the exact same thing, but I tend to like to have as few as extensions as possible running. So it's typically why I don't use it. So I'll hit the check mark and what it does is it allows me to download it directly into my downloads. I can even name the file if I want to. So I could just title this nose ring just for time's sake, because that's about a nose ring if you have already read the passage. All right, I'm gonna keep rolling here. So now let's change this question. I'm gonna hit the image icon so that way I have a picture of the passage itself. I'm gonna hit the choose the image option I could use either of mine. If I did the screenshot, it would appear like so, uh, or I could use the one I use for Nimbus. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use my screenshot, hit open, and it will upload it into my Google Form. So now I can ask the question. Now, if I wanna give further directions, a great tip is to use the description icon using the three dots down on the bottom right, hit the description, and then I'm able to add some more text. So all right, I'm gonna switch this. I'm not gonna have it as a multiple choice question, leave it as a short answer. And now let's take a look at the difference between these two. I'm gonna hit the eyeball icon here so I can see it. And here's the difference. Much cleaner, much more visually appealing, isn't it? All right, so I'm gonna show you another option. Let's say you can do this in Google Drawings or you could do this in Google Docs, either one. Let's say you do not want to do a screenshot but you want the actual passage, but you want it to be visually appealing. So what I could do again is copy the text. Let me highlight all the text here and copy. Go to a Google Drawing. And like I said, I could do this with Google Docs as well, but I like Google Drawings because I'm able to move objects around. I'm gonna use a text box in this case, draw it large like so and paste it in. And it puts the text in like so. Now I'm able to format this text however I want. And like I said, it's the same thing with Google Doc. So I can go ahead and make the text larger if I'd like. Change the font style as well. And here we go. That's almost too big, isn't it? So let's make it a little smaller. About 20. 20 looks pretty good. And so now I have the passage all in place. Uh, if I don't want the word foolish highlighted, I could change the color of that text. Let's select the hi highlight icon, change it to none. 
And let's say I want to specifically focus on the word fad here. So what I want to do is highlight the word fad instead. Choose the highlight option here. Yellow that. And let's find the word fad again. And actually, here's a shortcut for you. I'm going to select that word like so and highlight the whole word. I'm going to choose this paintbrush or paint roller icon and select it like so. And it actually copies the settings that I did for this word to that one. Isn't that a nice little trick? Okay, so now I have my passage in there. Let's say you wanted a picture that had to do with the topic. So, search bull with nose ring. And there you go. Have a nice cow here. But let's say I have that now. So now I have a picture to go with it. Let's say I want the definition of a word. Define. I can search the word fad, like so. And I could either copy and paste this text and put it in the text box as well, or I could screenshot it for time's sake. I'm just going to screenshot it because I don't want to deal with the issue of dealing with resizing text. Now I have the definition of the word fad as well. Okay, and if I want a background to this, to get a background in Google Drawings, you have to two finger click on the background. There isn't a background icon otherwise. And then I'm able to put in whatever color I want, like so. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, I don't like that. I'm gonna change that. Let's try that again. So somewhere on the background, I'm gonna just change it to white, like so. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go to File and Download As, take it as a picture, I'm going to go back to my Google form here and I'm going to add a new question and I'm going to choose the image icon again. I'm going to upload my image. Choose my untitled drawing there. I did not title it. Apologize for that. That's poor, poor habit to make. So now my passage is directly in here. I have a nice picture and I have the definition. So I have all kinds of different pieces and elements that I could fit right in there. So now I could ask, why did the cow hope that the nose ring was just a fad? There we go. And again, I can add my description with a few more details as to what I want them to do. So I could say, okay, so now that I'm done, we'll take a look at how it actually looks. Nice and clean. And now you can see there's a difference. When you use the image icon, whether you just take a screenshot or whether you combine elements using Google Drawings, either way, your passages will be much more visually appealing and your questions will be much more visually appealing to your students if you use that image icon instead of just copying and pasting text.